Hi everybody, so in this video I want to answer the question, or try to at least, about how the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer compares to Modern Warfare 1. So that if you're considering pre-ordering, or maybe Modern Warfare 3 is out by now, buying Modern Warfare 3. So you'll know, is it the kind of Call of Duty that you'll enjoy, or maybe what sort of adaptations you might have to make to your playstyle. And also expectations as to how the gunplay and the movement will be compared to Modern Warfare 1 in this case. Now there's some big caveats for that. The first one is my poor gameplay. I do apologise, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to COD. Especially when I'm playing these older CODs like Modern Warfare 1. Um, also, we've now got the Microsoft acquisition of... Um, Activision, which means that this game will be coming to Game Pass next year. So if you're just buying it for the zombies of the campaign, it's probably worth waiting unless you're a massive fan of those two game modes. Also, we've got the problem of Fortnite skins in Call of Duty, haven't we? And um, we don't know where, whether there, there's going to be more or less of them, depending on this Activision um, sell to uh, to Microsoft, whether Microsoft will want to get their money back by having more Fortnite skins. Or they'll say no make a pure call of duty and the final one which is probably the biggest one is pc crossplay being forced onto especially xbox players now i know playstation players you can turn it off um sort of but it makes matchmaking a little bit more difficult but especially with xbox players and there are so many pc cheats out there that I, I don't know if I have that much confidence in playing any crossplay game, which is crossplay PC to console. One of the big reasons for having a console and, and having to spend more on games is because you get that walled garden where hopefully it's fairly safe against PC cheats, but on Xbox anyway, you can't have that. But despite that, you know, I'm definitely going to be pre ordering. Um, and buying Modern Warfare 3 because I've enjoyed the multiplayer beta an awful lot and that also enables me to play the campaign and um, before it comes out and then I can get ahead with multiplayer maybe even some zombies because you know I'm a content creator and that's what I've got to do but this year I will really be concentrating on traditional 6v6 objective modes in Call of Duty like Domination and Hardpoint and probably a little free for all I mean we'll, we'll be sprinkling in TBM and other stuff as well but I probably won't be playing much Warzone because of the cheating problem with PC or DMZ and the problem I have with DMZ is I think it's a great game mode until they add, so, add solo lobbies it's a bit difficult when you're playing by yourself okay so back to the comparison so movement Modern Warfare 1 really bought brought, I thought, a tactical, almost Rainbow Six Siege sort of movement to Call of Duty. The footsteps are heavy, you could, pick, uh, you could hear people coming from a long, long way, you couldn't slide around the map and jump around the map the way that you could in lots of previous Call of Duties, and I really enjoyed that. Now with Modern Warfare 3, that's changed. You can now move much faster, you can slide around, but it's not ridiculous. It's not up there with some of the crazier CODs. I'd say it's more like a COD Black Ops uh, Cold War sort of level, which I think is good. It is fun. Um, the gunplay um, I enjoyed. Um, there's not that much recoil compared to Modern Warfare 1. I definitely felt that I could track my targets better. Um, and if you combine this with the time to kill and time to die, which is, I think, a little bit longer, it does give you slightly more tactical options if you're getting shot at. So if someone's shooting at you and they start hitting you, because you've got this slightly longer time to kill than the same Modern Warfare 1, you can turn around and engage in that gunfight. That doesn't mean you're going to win that gunfight, it's only really if, if they're pretty crap. <laughs> you know, and maybe they've only got one or two shots on you, but that is possible. But that time to kill, it's not war zone long. Um, it's not that uh, enemy players, you know, wearing three plates of armor or four plates of armor long. You know, that crazy situation where you've got a, um, you've got to expend a whole clip to kill someone. You know, it's still very, very reasonable. And I enjoyed the time to kill um, in this game. I, I really did. The time to die seemed to be fairly similar as well. Now, a lot of that will depend on how the servers perform. And we all know they're going to perform rubbish at launch. But when you have that strange situation where it seems to take you a lot longer to kill people than it does to take them to kill you. But that didn't seem to be happening. It seemed to be consistent. So I was fairly happy. And what this means is that I felt that although Modern Warfare 3 wasn't as tactical as Modern Warfare 1, because, you know, Modern Warfare 1, because you could hear people coming for such, for such a long way away, you could, especially in the objective game, game modes, if you got ahead of the game, you could defend the objective, you could post up, put your mines down, put your claymores down or whatever, put your 
um, trophy system down and you would really have the advantage and rushers didn't have the advantage at all I feel in Modern Warfare 3 although you you do retain some of that because it is a little bit faster you can rush so what that means is this is still tactical it's not as tactical I think as Modern Warfare 1 but it's still if that's your type of COD I think you will enjoy Modern Warfare 3 look and feel it's a bit difficult to say on the maps that we've got but it definitely felt grittier than something like Black Ops Cold War I'm looking forward to all these different maps that I haven't played before obviously because it's a new Call of Duty um, but what we're getting at launch with Modern Warfare 3 are the Modern Warfare 2 original maps from back in the day um, which kind of you know, tells you that really this game should have been a premium DLC for Modern Warfare 2. You know, why would you release Modern Warfare 3 with Modern Warfare 2 maps? But let's put that to one side. At least we're getting a new COD this year. Um, so I think if you enjoyed Modern Warfare 1, I think you should definitely, and you're really into Call of Duty, I think you should pre-order it or buy it if it's out already because um, the multiplayer is fun. It is a little bit tactical. It's not as tactical as Modern Warfare 1 and as slow as Modern Warfare 1 but it's still got that tactical side of it and I think it's going to be very enjoyable indeed. Anyway that's enough for me, what do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below and I will of course see you again soon.